Welcome back to Studio 701. It smells delicious in here. Yeah, it looks delicious right here <laughs> because Sarah Kelsch brought us an apple pie. So excited. Thank you so much for being here, Sarah. Yeah, thanks for yes, having thank you, Sarah. Sarah's with the Bismarck Cancer Center and is here to talk about El Apple Fest, which is going to look quite different this year. It is. So for our well-being segment today, let's talk about what we can expect at the Apple Fest Jam. Well, typically Apple Fest takes place at Buckstop with like 6,000 people and we take over the Buckstop Junction community, if you will. And this year with everything going on, we decided to do a little, something a little more socially safe. So we're doing um, Apple Fest Jam. So it's a drive-in concert at the Bismarck Community Bowl parking lot. Well, great. Yeah, yeah, we're excited because we had Brianna Helbling uh, yeah. in The Outsiders, Fuzz, Fuzz was awesome also, <laughs> along with Brianna, um, but they talked about they'll be performing there. Who else w can we expect to see? We open up the day with Cottonwood, a local bluegrass band, and Jill Weiss. Everybody knows Jill. She's actually a part-time nurse at the Cancer Center, and she's got her own following, so um, Jill will be opening up the day, and then we'll have Prairie Road. They're a local rock and country band as well. Okay, great. And what yeah. day is the that fest it all takes place this sunday from 11 Perfect. to 5 yeah we'll have to check that out i think yeah. uh yeah here's a look at what you can expect on sunday so it's a drive-in concert again it's at the community bowl which is definitely different than buckstop junction from 11 a.m to 5 p.m cars are admitted with a free will donation now that's pretty nice um the entertainment as you just mentioned right there some of the bands and then there's an online silent auction you mentioned pies like this though you can actually bid on at the location too? Absolutely. We're actually doing car hop concessions, not on roller skates. I've been asked that so many times this week. We need to think of our staff safety. <laughs> but uh, we'll come to your car and, and take your order for concessions and baked goods and, and Bismarck Cancer Center merchandise and Apple Fest merchandise and things like that. But we do have a virtual silent auction um, that's open till Sunday night at 9 ap on applefest.org. You can check that out. Um, I think over 120 awesome items from gift baskets to gift cards and anything you can imagine but yes you can buy this pie from your vehicle on Sunday. So. <laughs> I love that yeah. I want the roller skates next year though we'll have to uh, practice. <laughs> <laughs> you know talking about a lot of events are being canceled or modified certainly but the need has not slowed down talk to us a little bit about the need right now at the Bismarck Cancer Center absolutely you know uh, cancer didn't stop for COVID um, in fact earlier this spring we hit near record numbers of patients we were treating so um, and uh, most of our events have been altered and some have been canceled so the need is there and, it, and it's a big one and Apple Fest traditionally has been one of our largest fundraisers and so we were racking our brains trying to figure out how do we keep keep this and and keep some sort of fundraising coming in to help so support those patients our foundation raises money to provide wraparound services for the patients we treat so transportation assistance lodging assistance massage and spiritual care a dietitian on staff yoga um, we try to think of anything we can to really help those patients with their cancer journey well, is there anything you'd like to let people know um, about the Bismarck Cancer Center right now compared to, you know, decades ago um, that is offered today? Well, the, the Cancer Center, unfortunately, is busier than ever, as I stated, and we're actually undergoing an expansion just because we can't keep up with the, the demand, unfortunately. So um, we're continually to add new treatments, new state-of-the-art technology. We're always looking for the newest, best ways to not only take care of the patient, the cancer side, but also the emotional and spiritual side as well. Yeah. Well, I can yeah. say that, uh, unfortunately, a lot of people in our community and state have been affected by cancer and are familiar with Bismarck Cancer Center. So thank you for everything that mm -hmm. you do, sincerely. It's, uh, yeah. it's, a, it's a great it's need a in our community. Great cause, yeah. And, you know, Apple Fest at Buckstop Junction is so fun. You said you were there one time when it was like 40 yeah, degrees. Yeah, like 40 out. degrees. What is it going to be, 66? <laughs> I swear every year at Apple Fest, traditional Apple Fest, we had one like day that was 70 and one that was 40. We, yeah. we, I don't know that we ever got a nice complete weekend, but yeah. it doesn't matter what the weather is this year. You can sit in your car and listen to music, and you can also dial in to a radio frequency as well. So oh, nice. if it's too windy to sit with your window open or whatever, you can listen on your radio as well. Sure. Yeah, it's a great idea. Well, let's recap. Again, what's happening at the Apple Fest Jam. It's held as a driving concert at the Bismarck Community Bowl. Again, Sunday, September 27th from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Cars admitted with a free will donation. Anything in particular you're asking for? No, we're just asking for people to give what they're what they're wanting to give, what they're comfortable giving, and, and we're just happy they come on out and help support us and then enjoy some great music.
Uh, yeah. uh, Brianna and Fuzz, I'm telling you, <laughs> that was so much fun when they were here in the studio. Again, all proceeds going to the Bismarck Cancer Center. This has been Wellbeing. For more information, head to applefest.org. You can register for the virtual 5K. That and thank like you so fun. much for being here. Thank you.